I'd like to show you a project that I've uh, been working on. I uh, had a wild hair to build a travel trailer and I'll show you the steps along the way. So we're just just starting out. I'll show you the design I had for my trailer and uh, the parts that I used, what I end up with and uh, uh, one of the things that that uh, I try to do is, is stay a small budget. I'm not skimping on materials but I'm not going out uh, buying the top of the line items either. So you know whenever you can you buy used and uh, there's some wonderful uh, RV places where you can purchase uh, items and such. So do your research, look online, uh, find out what other people are doing, and then uh, just jump in it. Get your feet wet and do it. So that's what we're going to do. So let me show you what I started with. The first thing you're going to need, uh, obviously, is a trailer. Uh, you got to have a foundation in order to build the, uh, the camper on. So you know, I, I, I looked online, I looked on Craigslist, eBay, uh, I even checked out a lot of the uh, trailer uh, manufacturing places and uh, you know, they just didn't have what I was looking for. Uh, it, originally I wanted a 4x8 frame, and, uh, but the axles, you know, there's a couple of things that I had to have met. And one of them is I wanted to be able to put this trailer into my garage and in order to do that, it needs to be as low to the ground as possible. Now with a standard axle with leaf springs and such, uh, the trailer is set about 16 to 19 inches uh, from the floor to the top of the trailer. Now you add a subfloor on that and then you add another six feet for headroom and such. Uh, the opening to my garage is only 84 inches, so I have seven feet of space in order to squeeze my trailer in. So I need to get the frame as low to the ground as possible. But uh, most places didn't offer what I was looking for uh, at a reasonable price. Uh, you're, you know, you, you're looking at special axles and you know, get somebody to build something and, and install it. Uh, it could run you up into $1,500, $2,000 range. Uh, not my kind of budget. So. All that to say this, I didn't find what I was looking for on Craigslist or manufacturing or anything like that, so the next step is you, you design your own. And so that's what I did. And uh, I started out with, uh, I run a CAD program, and I'll show you some of the designs I came up with. But anyway, I, I, run, a, I run a CAD, and so I come up with my own dimensions, my own frame, uh, based on a lot of information that I've received from other guys on e uh, on uh, YouTube and there's one fellow on there in particular is very good explaining how to build trailers so uh, all the information you possibly could need about building trailers is on YouTube and there's no sense for me to just to go over what everybody else has done but this is what I wanted I wanted a trailer frame four feet wide and I ended up nine feet long on just the frame itself without the tongue at another five uh, Five feet, five and a half feet for the uh, tongue itself, and I'm able to extend my trailer past the frame and end up with uh, uh, overall, I'm going to end up with about a six by 12 uh, with about a six foot, possibly six foot headroom. And then I'll, and, and I'll show you what, I, what I've done for my axle. All right, I use a product called Rhino 3D, wonderful program. Uh, very simple to use, even for those uh, familiar with uh, AutoCAD, won't have any problem with uh, Rhino 3D. But anyway, I'll show you what I came up with. So I started uh, with a basic frame, like I said. I wanted a 4x8, uh, 4x9 frame uh, with my torsion axle. And so um, I designed everything on the, on the CAD here, and I'm able to see what's going to work, you know, how it would look, and uh, so anyway, that's the, uh, that's the concept uh, of my trailer, the frame, and what it would look like with a set of wheels on it, and, uh, and so the, the easy part is here, once, it's, uh, once you got it down on paper, the, the building part actually is, is fairly simple, and um, let's see what this thing looks like. Uh, I've got, uh, I put the frame on there, 
this is what it's going to look like uh, hopefully when uh, I go to frame it in uh, I'll use standard 2x2 two two. and then hopefully um, let's see this is about as far as I got so I don't have the cabin quite done might not even end up with this design but uh, gives you an idea of the appearance what it's gonna look like uh, 12 feet uh, long about six feet uh, tall um, and six feet wide so it's plenty enough for room for me I'm not a very tall fella anyway so once I've got the drawing on the CAD system, I simply just run the dimensions and, uh, and then when I buy my material, I just cut it to those dimensions have uh, have it made. So that's the easy part is, uh, well, I wouldn't say the easy, but you know the concept of it uh, is probably the hard part. Doing what you want to do, once you realize what you want to do, that's the easy part. So uh, get yourself an axle, design your frame if you can't find a frame and then uh, begin to build so with all that garbage out of the way let me show you what I've got so far and uh, hope you like that so here's the trailer what I have uh, made so far it uses a uh, 2 by 2 3 16 wall and uh, on the tongue itself for the uh, main bar is a 2 by 3 with a 3 16 inch wall and I also had uh, of course from the drawings you see I had some gussets actually welded uh, to the bottom there on the uh, two cross members and that's just uh, for my peace of mind going down the road I didn't want this thing collapsing uh, alongside the highway uh, so with that said here is the axle that I ended up with it is a torsion axle and right now it is set at zero degrees. Now what's cool about this particular axle, it's actually an adjustable axle, which means that I can take this uh, area right here, this bolt, and loosen that up, and then I'm able to remove the uh, bar here and put it 10 degrees up, 22 degrees down, 10 degrees down, whatever angle that I need to uh, to bring this thing up or down uh, as far as clearance so right now the axle or the trailer has about a 15 inch uh, ground clearance to the top of the frame itself so from the top of the frame to the floor is 15 inches uh, but that doesn't leave much for my my headroom for my um, garage here so uh, I've got another plan in mind for that the axle itself, because it is a torsion axle, doesn't require springs. It has a bar, this member here that's welded onto the tubular uh, axle, and it's actually through bolted through the frame. Uh, but each side is independent of the other, and so uh, it really makes for a smoother ride. I'm running 13-inch uh, uh, standard trailer tires. You can pick those up at your local Walmart, Bimart, uh, yeah, wherever you can find a trailer store. Uh, fairly reasonable and uh, mounted those on there and of course your your trailer jack in the uh, on the front of the tongue. So all in all it's, uh, it's nice and square. Uh, the axle uh, cost me about $318 plus shipping and it might be a fairly expensive but for what I was looking for 